What's up, my babies? It's your girl, Melodja Serenity, and I am back with another video. And I am super, super excited to show y'all the look that I came up with. Um, as y'all see, it's in a different style. Like, I styled it up real cute, period. Don't play with her. Just some curls that I've always wanted, never knew how to do, but I tried to get in the mirror and do. And it came out so cute, and I'm so glad I recorded it. Oh, yeah, I'm showing y'all that I didn't use any type of, like, holding spray. And I'm showing y'all if you cheer, if you dance, baby, if you have to take it to church and hallelujah and praise the Lord, she gonna hold, she gonna stay, and ain't going nowhere. So, yes, I really hope that y'all enjoy it, and let's get into the freaking video. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, this hair natural state is straight and it is freshly blow dried, but I explained all of that later on in the video. Everything that I am using will be down below in my Amazon storefront or either the link will be down there for y'all to use. But I'm just about to first let y'all know how I prep my hair because I did not show that. And I feel like that really played a big part in how I achieved these curls. So um, before I install my wig, this is a new part wig. I may insert some footage right here for y'all to see. Y'all see this like, this hair is so freaking good. This wig has been dyed so many times. It was red before this, I dyed it back black. I think it was like a brown color before not sure but um it was this i've had this wig for almost two years now um as y'all see like i did those wand curls on this hair um and i'm not gonna lie it was a little i had let it get a little nappy because with the wand curls i wasn't really like combing through or anything for the past two days but as y'all see i brushed through it it had a, just a light bit of shedding because like i said it was very 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 tangled because when i first did the style which if y'all watch my video y'all see um i did i curled the hair while it was in its natural state like this and then i just really love that just messy minimalist look it was giving so i literally did not touch the hair i barely ran my hands through it because i didn't even want to mess up pattern as y'all see like it reverted right back it's not tangly and it's going right like i just blow dried it even though this wig was straight at first but it went right back straight still having body still very full don't play so when i drop redrop this hair and get everything back on i'm gonna need y'all to shop because I hate it. i'm gonna show y'all the receipts like i've had this wig for so freaking long it was a closure wig at first but um the lace was just kind of messed up didn't want to throw my wig away and i couldn't replace the lace which i know i'm not really a lace girl so i literally cut the lace off it was a closure wig and i cut the lace off and i made it a u-part wig so I have done so, and before I even cut the lace off, I wore that wig so many damn times. That's why the lace is messed up. <sighs> Finna do this side now. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just took my hair and I washed it before I installed it. I washed my wig before I installed it. And um, I added a little bit of cheat oil, which is down below in my Amazon store front as well. And I took a little cheat oil and I just blowed my hair out. And I took my Kendra's Boutique Hot Comb. The link will be down below. And I just pressed out my roots of my leave out. And that's literally it. I love it in its natural form, in its natural state. Because um, I, didn't want it, I didn't want it to like press it out first. I didn't want it to be like silky straight. I felt like um, that played a the the hair being basically in its natural state once you blow it out played a big part because it helped it it helped my hair get its get that like really natural look once I got done with the curls that I was um trying to go for. So I'm just taking this small little section first. I went ahead and did the back of my head because of course y'all wasn't going to be able to see that part. 
but yeah um i just took my hair and i did that little section first i took a big chunk because i want the bottom to be like really i want my hair to get volume period so i took bigger chunks towards the bottom and as i go up y'all will see you know i just kind of explain it throughout the video on the next piece i'm going to explain basically how i wrapped it around the wand curler but y'all look at the wand and see like how i got everything super close together nothing is really spaced out i have the curls very very close together and i'm gonna explain why in a couple seconds and i left it on for about 10 to 15 seconds not long and um y'all see how i'm lightly like i lightly tugged on it and lightly pulled it apart i didn't pull much apart um i just lightly pulled it like whatever wanted to come loose i let come loose and then i just left it alone i didn't run my hand through it or anything and um it's going to give me that like really frizzy but still neat look so this next section um oh yeah another thing y'all the bottom sections i am doing a little bit bigger because i want my hair to get volume i'm not sure if i said that already but um i want it to get volume and like really big so that first part i did i just did one big chunk and so now i'm going to split it up into twos and as i go up i'll do smaller pieces smaller pieces <laughs> i'll explain that as i go but as i'm wrapping it around you see me twisting the hair as well girl my arms was tied but um i'm just twisting the hair as i'm twisting it around the wand curler and it's going to give it that really like i don't know y'all know how the curls look when they use straws and stuff like that i feel like that's the look it's going to give and so some of the curls i'm going to do are going to be bigger some are going to be smaller all the curls aren't going to be like the same the same like um curl pattern i'm just doing it different being fun with it and letting it letting the hair flow how it wants to flow and i feel like it just it gave me really what i wanted it to give so when I'm towards the bottom of my roots, I don't take the wand curler all the way up just simply because I want to make sure that I still keep some length to my hair. Um, so I don't go all the way up to the roots, but as I make it towards the top of my head, I definitely will. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I did as I do different things because I did like i didn't just like i said i didn't keep it one way the whole time sometimes i did some bigger sometimes i did some smaller as i go towards the top of my head i may twist the wand curler a certain type of way or something y'all know my ass always doing something acting crazy and dancing and stuff but yeah so that's pretty much it i'm gonna let y'all watch it as i see certain things i'm going to come on and let you know girl Y'all, I used to always freaking try to achieve this curl. I have never been able to, especially like, well, on deep weight hair, I definitely can. But on straight hair, it has always been so hard for me. So I'm just super excited and proud of myself. I know people probably have done this on straight hair before, but it has always been hard for me. So, um, yeah, and this hair, natural state was straight like i said so your girl was like super proud of herself it's like Perry, i finally got it and it's crazy that i even record this video something in my spirit just told me to record it because i wasn't even gonna record it because i was like child every time i try to um record it or just do this curl it never come out right but i just tried it y'all oh yeah um i don't know if i mentioned this already but some curls are going to be looser than others some aren't and i just really feel like they help the hair y'all see how i'm twisting it right there you can twist it once you want to get close to them roots when you're getting closer as i twist it around the um twist it around twist the hair around the wand curler i twist the wand curler as well to get a little closer to the roots and that will also help layer the hair as well even though my hair was already layered i wanted it a little more layered like i wanted you to be able to see the layer in the curls so as i got up like up towards closer to the top of my head i started twisting that wand curler honey and then um 
as I get up some more like get really closer towards like my leave out and all of that I won't even pull on the curls anymore but yeah y'all I just want to say keep going keep pushing even if it's something that you have tried before and you couldn't get it the first time girl keep trying like you will get it that was a whole freaking lesson that God just freaking dropped on me while I was recording this voice over because I just thought about it well first off I already recorded it now I'm re-recording it because girl I was talking too damn fast and I'm like they are not going to be able to understand it so let me sit down and redo this video and God just dropped a whole dang old message on me but yes keep trying like I have tried these curls so many times and I was just gonna give up on trying it but I retried it try a new technique like that's what it takes in life that's what i was saying on one of my vlogs before um in order to get to where you want to go in life you have to be willing to do stuff that you have never done so with this style i try a new technique that is so crazy god just dropped a message on me but um thank you god for that but yes like i tried a new technique and i freaking got it and it looked bomb and like my goal was to go for my natural hair and it looks just like it looked like my natural hair even when the curls fell oh my gosh it looked so freaking much better i've been straightening my hair by now as y'all seen seen in that previous clip that i posted my hair is straight now this is some good hair honey make sure y'all stay on the lookout dropping very soon we getting it together we getting it done we getting it out honey well not dropping relaunching which is kind of the same thing but i just want to say relaunch because child been selling here for years i just took a little break from it this past well this year i took a break from it earlier this year I, um just took a step back from it to just get myself together but i'm so ready to rebrand this wig has been dyed so many times bleached so many times worn so many times this was a closure wig before and then i turned it into this u-part wig and this is like my third time wearing it as a u-part wig but yeah um as i get closer y'all see that i'm not pulling the hair i'm just curling it and like i said i leave it on the wand for like 10 to 15 seconds and I'm just curling and twisting it and I'm getting closer to my roots to just make sure it get that layering effect that I really want. And as y'all see, I am now taking smaller sections as I get to the top of my head. I have no clue why I was just staring at the dang camera like that. But um, yeah, I just took smaller sections and i just love it y'all look at it it's giving that layer effect it's giving really natural and that's why i said i did not um flat iron my leave out i just took my hot comb and pressed out my roots a little bit because i did still want my roots to look neat you know what i'm saying so i did just um go through my roots just a little bit but i didn't even really go over my baby hairs like that and it just turned out so cute i didn't do any type of um, edge control or anything i just wanted to give natural raw straight out the bed natural hair your real hair 24 inches down your back period <laughs> and when i did this last roll i didn't go all the way up to my roots i didn't want the curls to be all the way to my roots because i don't know that's just kind of giving a little grandma so i just kind of didn't go all the way up the rest of my hair that I had already, um, the hot combs, I just left that straight. And yeah, girl, that's what we did. Look at it, y'all. It's, it's just giving, yes, all that natural shine. All I did was add a little cheat oil in my hair. I didn't put any type of holding spray or anything. Now, if you want to go in and add a little holding spray, that would be perfectly fine but literally it's two days later and my hair is already straight i knew i was not going to keep these curls for long so i just didn't personally want to go in and add any um holding spray or anything but you most definitely can boo you most definitely can she'll probably last about a week or two then i might be pushing it with two weeks 
but they might last a little more they did drop well mine actually had kind of dropped at night because girl i took a steaming hot shower so but i even i loved it even more when the curls dropped y'all it was so freaking beautiful but i went ahead and did the rest of my hair off of the camera because it's pretty much repetitive pretty much the same thing I apologize if the camera look a little blurry. I don't know what's on my camera. I don't know what's going on, child. But yes, it came out so beautiful. It's so sexy. It's giving adult date night out with your boo, your bae. Or it's giving um going to class, going to dance, going to church. Like it's literally this style is giving everything. It's serving a a a I know my ass. Oh, this is me showing y'all going to the dance, going to church. We taking it everywhere, honey. Going out to the club or to the little bar to get a couple drinks, you know, having a good time. Just a mess, honey. But yes, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Oh, yes, let me show y'all this part. I did go in and shake my head a little bit just to fluff in the curls up and like make them kind of like more juicier and just spray a little bit i like to shake my hair like that instead of like running my hands my hands through my hair when i do like flat iron curls on straight hair and body wave hair i like to do that too just a little tip just a little gem a little one two a little gift for me to you period but yes y'all it looks amazing This is just me showing y'all applying my lip. I went in with my sugar lip liner, my Nova Gloss, and then I will top it off in a couple of seconds with my, I think I did my candy gloss. Yeah, my candy gloss. And yes, make sure y'all go shop Rooney Posh. Very pigmented, moisturizing, nourishing for your lips, girl. We're going to get it all done for you. Um, I'll leave a coupon code down below for y'all to use at checkout for 15% off. Just a little gift from your girl to your girl. From me to you. Period. But I really hope that y'all enjoy this video. I hope that y'all learned something great from it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, girl, just take today and care for you or do that one thing that you've been wanting to do, whether it's a new business venture, just start one step at a time, whether it's just filling out for your LLC or finding a color that you want to do for your business or um, finding a new product that you want to use. Like, girl, get back into you, what you like to do. I know you being mommy of the year, friend of the year, and all of that good stuff. But yes, I love y'all. Talk with y'all later. And I'll see y'all next time. Mwah.